Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your general reading for the month of August 2024. As always, please do keep in mind that these reads are general, so don't try and force anything to fit with your situation, and definitely do use your discernment, okay? So we are going to be taking a look into your finances and career, and then we're going to be looking into your interpersonal relationships after that, okay? Right, so what's going on for Capricorn, please? Capricorn. Wow, that's reversed. Uh, 444, I am protected in the reversed position. What's that all about, Capricorn? Um, why is that in reverse? You're probably feeling like you've been abandoned or that you've been forgotten about here, either by someone in your physical reality or by spirit or the universe, okay? So spirit's saying here, look, trust your journey, trust the way that your life unfolds and trust that you're where you need to be at the present moment. OK, so again, with it coming out in reverse, it's really, really telling about how you feel right now about your current situation. Uh, not feeling great about it by by any standard with that being in reverse, uh, feeling that perhaps maybe you've been forgotten about in some way, shape or form. And Spirit saying, look, Capricorn, chill. OK, you're going to be absolutely OK. You're fine. You are exactly where you need to be at this point in time even if you don't fully believe it, okay? And then, if you just give me a minute, just so I can put that there. At the bottom of the deck is, yeah, number 88, I am wealthy. You're on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life, yeah coming into a lot of abundance okay now that word abundance it's an umbrella term it can mean lots of different things to lots of different people this one is quite specific though it says like work on your spiritual abundance first and then your physical abundance will follow suit, okay? So this lack of belief here that you have in yourself, that needs to be addressed, okay? And you do have success and abundance that's coming in. Beautiful. Right, so what's going on for Capricorn, please? Finances and career. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for the month of August 2024, please? Oh, oh, investment. What is it that you're investing in at this point in time, Capricorn? This one says invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. So if our Capricorn Collective here, I hope you're not investing in some kind of crypto, you know what is that I'm, uh, you know, actually, I'm not allowed to say that on YouTube. It's uh, one of the words that gets flagged for obvious reasons. Um, if you are investing in, a, in anything like that, definitely do be super, super careful. Do, do your research, be vigilant. Okay, um, anything else aside from that, if you are making any other investments, take that calculated risk, but do make sure that you've got some kind of safety net here so that you can fall back on should anything go a little bit haywire. Okay, um, always have a backup plan. Always, always, always with anything like that. Um, this is more to do with you're smart. You know what is a good investment and what is not a good investment. So definitely avoid anything that promises any kind of, you know, get rich quick malarkey, which you already know about. Cultivation. You're in the growing phase right now and you must continue to water the seeds that you've planted in order to reap the rewards. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah a little bit of a gardening analogy here that's coming through you can plant as many seeds as, as you like okay not all of the seeds that, that you plant are actually going to germinate into being anything useful um in even in spite of your very best efforts you know you could literally baby these seeds and they still won't germinate um the point is but it's saying focus on what you've currently got going on right now focus on the investments that you've already made whatever that might be okay that's the seeds that you're wanting to water okay so try not to think too too much about well what am i going to do next spirit's saying focus on the here and now because that that's what's showing the most growth and again you can use that as a metaphor for any area of your life but this is about your finances and career okay so uh, more uh, more nurturing more attention required on something you've already invested in i mean that that could even be about a house as well you know a house is one of the biggest investments that you'll ever make in your life um but do you actually look after your home you know when things break down are you like ah whatever <laughs> you know or do you protect your investment because everything about this message is that you need to protect your investment uh, again that could be a car it could be a business okay anything 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 but the point is protect your investment don't think too much about the next thing that you're going to invest in they're saying look after what you've currently got on the go and then independence it is time to go out on your own and create your own business yeah or try something well outside of your comfort zone okay so cats any cat owner will tell you they're really difficult to train if not impossible um i mean yeah okay some people can successfully train their cats really really effectively i guess maine coons are amazing you know you can you can actually train a maine coon um but that's going off track cats independence do they do what they're told to do under normal circumstances do they hack? <laughs> no, they don't. They're extremely independent. Here's a little thing for you. <laughs> Most narcissists hate cats. Why? Because you can't control them. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, because you're fiercely independent here, Capricorn, because you cannot be controlled, you cannot be told what to do, it's time for you to take that fierce independence of yours and some of you are needing to put that energy into your own business. You're best suited to being your own boss. You're best suited to building your own business. You're best suited to uh, leading others. And it, it, it's a fair leadership as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's possible that in your current situation, you might well have been ruffling feathers with other people that you that you're working with because of that whole thing about you know oh trying to tell Capricorn to do anything. It's like trying to get blood off a stone, <laughs> you know. Um, absolutely, that that's a quality. Okay, that that's a that's a quality that, um, in my opinion, more people need to have okay it's not because you're being spiteful or nasty or whatever or because you've got an ego problem it's not about that it's because you're best suited to being independent and being your own boss a cat will never ever ever do anything that it does not want to do like ever okay again that's why narcissistic people don't like cats <laughs> if anyone tells you i hate cats stay away from that person please <laughs> Okay, and then expression at the bottom of the deck, yeah, is creativity. You have this innate desire to express yourself freely and to explore your own ideas. You've got a really good understanding of the way that things should be run. And quite frankly, in under a normal workplace setting, 
no, things are not going to be run the way that you like it to. And no, you're not going to enjoy those kinds of environments because, yes, you can see other areas where huge improvements are a requirement. And you know what most businesses are like these days. They're still running on old software, for example. Do you know what I mean? So have you seen the, the more recent spates or experienced yourself the more recent spate of like big businesses being hacked and whatnot. It's because they're all running on old software. None of them have kept up with the times. None of them. And so it's like with this energy, you can see the glaringly obvious problems of certain places are not keeping up with the times that there's new ideas that need to be taken into effect sooner rather than later and because they're not doing it a lot of you are thinking okay well guess what i'm just going to start my own company i'm going to do it my own way and i'm going to put all the rest of those guys to shame you need to work excuse me you need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Really interesting energies. Right, let's start clarifying this. Can you tell us more for our Capricorn Collective for their finances and career, please? Can you clarify this investment, please, for Capricorn? Clarify the investment. Thank you. Queen of Cups off balance and the lovers. Um, it's strange the way that that lovers has come out. It, it, it is off center, but it's more in the upright than it is off center. So it's deliberating. Maybe it's time for you to deliberate your options here, okay? Because the lovers is a choice. And of course, the choice is always love. And with this being finances and career, Spirit's saying you really would be best served here, Capricorn, choosing something that you're genuinely going to love, okay? Choosing something that you genuinely have an interest in doing. And that's where you're going to be earning a lot of your your money okay through something that you enjoy doing um it, it it's a dream that a lot of people have but very very few have the um have the ability to actually live you know because at the end of it all a job whatever you do even if it is something that you love a job is still gonna be a job and at some point you're still going to get you're still going to have the same issues and problems of falling out of love with that job even if you initially started loving it and enjoying it okay all jobs any jobs have this same exact problem why because it's a job <laughs> that's just what happens uh, so that's why you got this queen of cups off center it's like man I used to really enjoy such and such, but then I started doing it as a job and it stopped becoming enjoyable, you know. So, again, all of this is about changing up, yes, changing up your perspective. you got the magician at the bottom of the deck, which is saying that you can infuse new energy into this job, into this investment in order to cultivate more joy within that particular job. Okay. Um, again, with that card coming out kind of off center, but not quite, um, it can be a message about a lack of commitment. Okay. So consider what it is that you have committed yourself to. And is it still worth, like really genuinely, is it still worth that initial commitment that you made to it? Or is it going to be possible for you to make a commitment towards something new instead? Okay. Again, Queen of Cups coming out off balance, that can indicate sort of uh, moody and morose, withdrawn energy. Um, that there's, something here potentially that you could be neglecting I'm hoping it's not yourself I hope that you've not been neglecting yourself because of there being a lot of focus on 
maybe this investment or maybe you know <clears throat> you extremely dedicated towards your own education that you've forgotten to take care of yourself i'm hoping it's not anything like that but i kind of am seeing it okay i am seeing that that's going to be a factor so yeah do um get back on top of that let's take a look at the cultivation the three of cups okay again kind of came out off center um, this one's all about celebrating your successes, whether they be big or small, okay? Every single success of yours, it does need your attention, it does need your celebration, okay? Um, because ultimately, that's going to really breed in this sense of gratitude. And as we all know, the gratitude attitude encourages more things into your life to be grateful for, okay? What's going on with this? This independence for Capricorn. Six of Cups off center. Mm. Um, that's, a, that's a difficult one. And it's made even more difficult with your own major arcana there at the bottom of the deck. I'm not taking that as unhealthy energy because you are a Capricorn. That is your main card. I'm taking this as you guys are showing up in, in your energy. Super, super strong, which tells me that you are showing up in your own life. Really, really strong. Now, with this Six of Cups off balance, it tells me that something is not... It isn't in harmony. It isn't in balance. Something is causing a bit of strife here to do with this independence energy. Maybe there's a concern that you have about striking out on your own, creating your own business. It's like, yeah, well, it sounds great in fantasy because that's the card of nostalgia. Uh, it sounds great in fantasy, but the reality is going to be really quite different but there's also a message here that's coming out about how somebody is calling you cynical and maybe even a little bit unhinged because you know that you can strike out on your own and be independent okay so the same thing that i told virgo any anyone who says anything mean spirited like that to you you can safely ignore it OK, in the knowledge that, look, you know who you are, you know what, what you're capable of doing. OK, and um, this is very sort of thankless energy. Um, it, it's very rigid and unforgivable energy. OK, uh, I do not like the Six of Cups off balance because it feels a lot like someone's trying to drag up the past in order to use as like a weapon stick to try and punish another person. And I feel that this this is what someone is possibly trying to do to you here, Capricorn. They could be saying, how can you possibly go off and strike out on your own or create a yet another new business when the business that you had the last time, uh, well, that didn't go so well, did it? So what makes you think it's going to be different this time around? Well, it is going to be different this time around, Capricorn. And do you know what? For a tiny handful of you, it's not even an external individual who's saying those things to you it could be yourself that's saying these things to yourself okay so maybe perhaps yes in the past you did have a business and yes maybe perhaps it didn't quite go as well but that's not a guarantee that it's going to fall through again it, it really really isn't it just means that you know the potential pitfalls of doing something like that and you know um where that sort of thing can be avoided in the future Okay, remember your energy is here, super, super strong. It's saying, look, only your own thoughts can hold you back. Okay, and again, I'm not going too, too much into the traditional meaning of the devil card. I'm sure that you're more than familiar with it by now. I am taking this as just your energy, like you, you're focused at the moment on where things potentially went wrong for you in business, career, finances in the past. Um, and it, it could well be stopping you from striking out and being independent once again. 
you know, again, that fear of what if it goes wrong again? Well, so what if it goes wrong again? At least then the next time round you can do it differently yet again, you know? Um, I, I feel that that's why Spirit was saying, look, give yourself a chance, do this thing, okay? But make sure that you've given yourself this safety net here for you to fall back on should anything potentially go wrong. Because again, you can plant all the seeds you bloody well like. And guess what? No, not all of them are going to germinate. Yeah? So take take that for, for what it is. Um, I think now is a good time to get a guidance message and healing message for you guys. I, I don't know how much more I can say about that energy without basically repeating myself. What guidance do you have for Capricorn, please? I just hope that that was clear enough and coherent enough. What else? So Capricorn. Finances and career, please. Oh, there's one in the middle there. I, c I can feel the pushback coming in. It's like, you want to know, but you sort of don't want to know by the same token. It's that one. I knew that there was one from the middle. Right. Let me see. Let me just get you the book. So you've got number 42. Otter spirit, you're never alone. Yeah, otters are also incredibly cheeky and playful. So maybe tap in more into that um, curious, playful, cheeky side of yourself that not very many people get to see. Okay, but honestly, Capricorns are incredibly funny and playful if you spend enough time with them. Like I, I find Capricorns absolutely amazing. Um, but by the by. Like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. So they're very tactile. Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we're never really alone and that we're always cherished. Otter spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactile way. Communicate with your voice, facial expressions, gestures and your actions, letting your love express itself beyond just the words that you speak. Otter Spirit's message is that presence matters, so remember to be fully present with those you care about, helping them sense the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is a time for joyful celebration of the love in your life that expresses as friendship and companionship. Hug someone, touch their arm, or simply look into their eyes with your full attention. Um, okay, so that's... I, I, I know that um, Capricorns don't really do PDAs, but they definitely do do affection and attention in other ways, other than being tactile. Um, so I, I do think that that might take you out of your comfort zone there, Capricorn. M maybe, maybe it could well be that uh, some of yous are needing a big hug, you know, and, and just for someone to tell you that, look, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Um, okay. Say I care and you matter. Make time for friendship. Otter Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love and care about you. You're never alone and you're always loved. Have you been channeling all of your affection to just one person or counting on only one friend or individual to hold you up? Uh, heedless of your resources all around you. Okay, so it's asking basically in terms of finances and career, have you been giving all of your attention to just one aspect of your finances and career, Capricorn, and not enough time and attention to another area of your finances and career, the, the area that really does need your attention. So if you've got multiple things on the go here at the same time, is all of your attention on the thing that seems to be doing okay by itself, but then there's not enough attention being put on the, the area of your finances and career that is genuinely needing your attention, because that's how it feels. Because remember what Spirit was saying, that, that you're needing to, to look at that thing. Okay, 
Um, you deserve support and love from many people. And when Otter Spirit arrives, you're reminded that you have a community. Somewhere is another friend who wants to experience the joy of giving to you and seeing your happiness as you receive their gift of attention, affection and kindness. As, yeah, so it's saying that somebody's wanting to get close to you there, Capricorn. Uh, Otter Spirit wants you to open your eyes and to see the love is available to you from all directions. Do you believe it? Do you feel it? Reach out to someone and you will see that they want to hold your hand as much as you want to hold theirs love support and friendship are available to you to connect with community and friends yeah um so it it's been heavy on the work and not enough on the play because some somebody is wanting to be affectionate to you and they feel that at the moment you could just be too damn busy to uh to to be getting affectionate with them again i feel that this is about your your attention on your investments um right so let's take a look at your interpersonal relationships because that otter spirit one it was kind of crossing over between the both wasn't it um so what we'll do I'll just put all this away so we can make space on your table and then we're going to look at your interpersonal relationships and I'll start this one with the tea leaf deck. There you go. It is the fill deck in its entirety. Right, so Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. What's going on? interpersonal relationships uh the shark the candle and the wreath off balance reversed take care or there will be a loss of material wealth with the shark um obviously we are going to clarify all this uh the candle you will be shown the way it's off center and the wreath sorrow over a loss it's in reverse spirit is telling you that a potential loss here within your interpersonal relationships actually is not a loss it is in fact a blessing in disguise um it feels to me capricorn like somebody was potentially using you here uh, a gold digger Okay, uh, definitely start clarifying this one. See, with that wreath in reverse, it's like, yeah, it's no loss. What's this shark off balance, please? And why is it showing in Capricorn's interpersonal relationships? Were you working with a member of your family or did you go into business with a member of your family? And now it's kind of branched off, split off, separated off, and it's caused some kind of ill feelings here. It could be for a small, small amount of Capricorns. This is Shark in Cap, thank you. Okay, Four of Swords off center. You, oh yeah, yeah, you Four of Wands off center, and then you Six of Cups in the upright position. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's time for a new relationship. It's time for a new connection. Now, again, interpersonal relationship, that could be romantic. It could be business. It could be friend. Okay, Any connection that involves yourself and another individual, that's the context of this. That there is some kind of a split and I'm hearing dissolved, something's being dissolved. Uh, it, it might um, cost, might cost someone financially here with the shark off center. Um, okay, so someone has to settle that there's some kind of settlement here. I don't know if you're having to make a settlement to another person or if they're having to settle with you. OK, um, but either way, somebody is losing a, a small amount because it's not completely in the upright. It's off center. 
someone's losing a small amount of their uh, material wealth in order to free up themselves from a situation here. Um, there, there's a time for recovery, but it's off center. So that spirit saying, look, Capricorn, for as long as you're in this environment, then your recovery is going to be slow. So you're best off removing yourself from that particular environment. Okay. And that's going to speed up your healing process. You've got instability here with the four of wands off center. And then your six of cups in the upright position. Nostalgia, nostalgic thinking, rose tinted glasses in this context. Um, can you tell us more? Can you make this message clear what's going on? Okay. Anger, messages, introspection, soul searching. Someone's asking what's next, what's next. Yeah. Situation's over here with a ten of swords. Okay. Okay, so, so there is a loss of a connection here, the loss of a friendship. Um, it has not ended on good terms or it's headed in the direction of ending on difficult circumstances. Um, so this is a heavy, heavy energy. I'm getting the message here, Capricorn, and listen, if anybody says this to you, and it's showing me that someone recently has said it to you or is literally about to say it to you, you're going to know what their intent was towards you the whole way through without a shadow of a doubt. And here's the turn of phrase that someone's using. I'll show you. After everything I have done for you. Anybody who uses that turn of phrase was just using you all along. And everything that they quote unquote did for you was so that they could potentially cash in at a later date. That's why it came out with the hermit. Because spirit's saying, analyze that. Do some soul searching. That's not what normal people say. It has, however, become normalized. After everything I have done for you. It's quite an insidious turn of phrase, isn't it? When you really think about it. And I'll show you again so that you can really feel out this energy for yourselves. We're on the shark, to there, to there, to there. Fairly certain you can see that for yourself. And now we've got you in a situation where you're like that. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth continuing it? Is it really worth carrying on? Do you know what? I'm going to... I don't want to say pay off this person, but I can't think right now of a better way of putting it. It's like, yeah, I am going to settle with this person because whatever settlement I have to pay for my own peace of mind, whatever is going to be, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It's like, you can rebuild any kind of material loss. You can rebuild that. But let me tell you, it is a lot more difficult to rebuild yourself. And that's where your focus needs to be right now. 
But yeah, I, I just think that that's an incredibly insidious thing that anybody could say to another person after everything I've done for you. Because the implications that come with that are just absolutely insane. It's like, okay, so so that's the type of person that they were all along. They, they were only being nice and kind and helpful only when it benefited them, but not because they're genuinely a nice, kind, helpful, generous person. It's because they, they wanted to cash in later on. I just think, no, that's awful. This is candle off balance, please. You will be shown the way. Yes, yes, she will be with the star. Beautiful. I love it. So here's the thing. <laughs> and I, I love when these two cards come out with each other in the exact same read. I love it. Here's why. Lantern of the Hermit. Okay, there's not a light. It's a star. There's a star in his lantern. Soul searching, going within, listening for the answers. Guess what happens? You find the star, you find the star within, you will be shown the way. you literally finding your inner star, finding your inner light. It sounds cheesy, but just sit with it for a minute, okay? Because your star is healing, it's nurturing, it's rebuilding, it's your dreams coming true, it's you reaching the things that you aspired to reach, okay? What else? Thank you. Oh, well, that one wants to come out as well. Okay, then the King of Cups and the King of Wands. Two kings. Interesting. Two kings. You will be shown the way. Um, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's your responsibilities. Uh, okay, so you're going to be shown the way about, oh, King of Wands, Ten of Wands, your responsibilities. Certain things that you're not responsible for that you're actually doing within this particular connection or relationship, Capricorn, that you should never have been doing. Um, that's why it's the two kings. I mean, it could be a same sex situation, but again, that's not going to resonate for all of you. OK, it could be two separate people. It could be the two facets of an individual, the two different sides of your own personality. It could be. But I'm reading this as you're going to be figuring out the things that you were doing within a connection that you should never have been doing. And I'm seeing that you're going to be putting away the burden or the burden of whatever this connection is or was you're going to be putting it to rest and finding this newfound sense of peace within your within your own life here with the king of cups but you will be shown the way you've got good news here that's coming in towards you when it's something to do with um anything that triggers an emotional response within you okay you got good news that's coming in towards you for that so it could be like good news coming in towards you about kids good news coming in towards you about love romantic love certainly uh i mean you've definitely got this vibrant energy to you with this king of wands i mean some of you are looking hot af right now okay doesn't matter if you're feminine masculine gender fluid doesn't matter um you're coming across just like your energy you're very very desirable okay incredibly desirable so yeah it's showing me that if you're looking for love you've got you've got love coming in Sorrow over a loss in reverse. That's kind of like, um, yeah, put, put in something disastrous, a disastrous connection to rest. Nine of Wands, the world off balance, and the three of coins. I don't feel that somebody is going to be fully willing to let you go, Capricorn. Um, somebody is trying to hold on to you here. It's this individual that, that you've been struggling with. They are benefiting far, far more from keeping you around. And they know that if, if you were to settle with them, um, or come to an agreement with them, that would obviously, yes, give you permission to go off, start your life again, go be yourself, go go find your happiness and all that good stuff. 
and they're like, no, th this isn't over. I I'm not going to let Capricorn go because I'm getting too much benefit from keeping Capricorn basically what I can see them type thing. Do you know what I mean? Again, it feels really insidious when we've got, for you, it's not going to be a loss, but for them, it will. You know, and them trying to convince you here with this three of coins. Look, we can still work it out. We can still make it happen. We can still we can still make it work. And you're like that, nah, nah, don't want to, don't want to. And and why should you, Capricorn? Because the whole thing felt like it was a one-sided situation, anyways. And you are best served, you know. <laughs> do it doing what spirit said here which was like we're gonna show you the way we're gonna show we're gonna show you we're gonna show you love and then you've got the hydrophant at the bottom of the deck um i'm getting lessons and teaching oh the high priestess with the hydrophant um okay so the Hierophant with the High Priestess, they, they are spiritual counterparts with each other. They're spiritual counterparts. See, this one can be religious and or spiritual side of life and yes they are two entirely different things that can be man-made law and then you've got spiritual law with the high priestess them two are counterparts so there could be a message here about how um you've got a spiritual counterpart here that's helping you through this process yeah, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups to the Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it could be, it could be that Spirit has been trying to get messages to you here about what it is that, that you should really be walking away from. It could be that uh, an introduction to your spiritual counterpart really reinforced the messages to you about how much BS you were putting up with here. Made you realize that you shouldn't be putting up with that kind of BS. And sometimes it can just take one person to treat us with respect, to make us genuinely open up and realize that, yes, we should be getting, you know, treated good. We should be respected. We should be loved and that, and that you are lovable. You know, it can it can just take that one person. Um, but, yeah, you've definitely got someone here that's like it, it's not going to be a loss seeing them go because again they they need you far more than what you need them okay that's why it's not going to be a loss to you but it's going to be a big hit for them definitely they're saying here as well that look it's time for you to start making your own rules with the high priest and the high and the hierophant excuse me the high priestess did i say high priest Ah, interesting slip up. Okay, um, let's have a look at some advice. Can I have advice for Capricorn, please? Advice for Capricorn. That bottom one, okay. I was just waiting for instruction there. Right. Masashi said, the way is in training, okay? The way is in training, meaning don't dream of it, train for it. When Masashi refers to the way, he is talking about the way of life. For the true warrior, the way means a life of constant training, not just physical and technical, but also in the ethical principles that divide the warrior 
from the thug. The same is true for the farmer, the artisan and the merchant. It is in training and practice, not talent, that is the real key to success. Yeah. So you could have all the talent in the world, but if you don't apply it, you're not going to get anywhere. Training. Interesting. What is it that Capricorn needs to focus on at this point in time, please? This, thank you. Inspired thoughts. Alignment brings incredible ideas, new thoughts, new decisions, new immediate action, new reality. So your focus needs to be on your new reality. Okay, uh, your focus needs to be um, bringing yourself into alignment with your goals and your aspirations. Mayhem. Your manifestation is happening. Current issue reveals past wound. Spiritual growth hang tight. Okay, so your focus needs to be on remembering that this too shall pass. Okay, yes, at the moment, energetically, it is chaos and mayhem, but that's not going to last forever. Okay, this too shall soon pass. Your manifestation is happening, and that is going to involve change and life surfing, feeling capable of overcoming adversity, no expectations, approaching life like a sport. Yeah, riding that wave. Um, genuinely believe that you're able to overcome anything okay um and again take take a look back at past events and where life really kicked your ass and you're still here you know so that's evidence uh, of your um uh, of your will to survive is evidence of your Oh, I forget the word right now, but I think you guys know what I mean. Right. White stag, believe. Believe in yourself and be your own guiding light. Trust you know the way. Yeah. Trust that you know the way. That's also a message about how you're being divinely protected and guided at this time as well. Okay, what else? Capricorn, please. So this deck, there is swearing in it, which means that if you're of a sensitive nature, then you just don't have to listen. Okay, what else? Capricorn. Thank you. Always keep shit moving by not giving a shit what people think of you. Do what you do for you. Always. Yeah. Yeah. In this respect, Capricorn, other people's opinions don't mean shit okay the opinion that you have of yourself is what you need to be okay with okay rather than other people's opinions of you um but that is what i have for you guys i genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone if you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading then i am currently taking bookings on my website which is phoenixkiataro.com the link for that is in my description box below thank you so very much for watching i genuinely appreciate every every single one of these and i will see you in the next one bye